When on 11th September last year we inaugurated the European Engineers Advisory Group, we made a promise that we would meet every six months again. Today we keep that promise and we believe to have prepared for you a very interesting program. The big question, how to be sure that Europe has the qualified engineers it needs for the future. It's great to see so many people here. I think people have come from about 20 countries around Europe, so it's great to see that there is so much interest and people understand that it is such a big issue. We are working to make Europe a more digital place and actually we can have the best framework conditions, we can have the best research and innovation programs, the best investment programs. If we do not have skilled people who can bring about digital innovation, we do have a problem. I would like you to think about artificial intelligence as a, just a very powerful set of tools to do automation. But you can only automate what you can fully describe. So we need engineers and business decision takers who will go and figure things out. The public transportation and the individual transport will come closer together and we will have uh, some call it a revolution or an evolution, but it will change the way that we see transportation in the next 10 years. The demand for qualified um, engineers is constantly growing, but engineers have no online visibility right now. With Skillery, you are able to choose from over 120 options to describe your expertise and identify collaborations um, between companies. Can Europe deliver the qualified engineers it needs for the future? Well, we have to. I mean, can Europe deliver the future it needs without uh, qualified engineers? No. And now we have got five new members who are going to be signing today. The shake-up is needed if Europe is going to deliver the qualified engineers it needs for the future. If it is indeed true that intelligence is the capacity to predict the future, then I believe our inauguration last September was a good reference point. We will continue and we cannot predict the future, but this journey has not yet finished. We have actually just embarked in it. Of course, we cannot go back and start from the beginning. We will have to start where we are, and we can only try to change the ending.